Assalamualaikum and welcome guys to our new episode of Mad Madness. Today, we will discuss about one of the application of integration, which is called the volume of solid of revolution. So, what exactly is integration? Integration is often introduced as a reverse of differentiation and has wide application. Integration is used in anti-derivative formula, trigonometric formula, and more commonly to find area under a graph. However, today, we will exclusively discuss about measuring volume of solid formed by revolution. Before we went into too much detail about application, we should revise about the basic law of integration. Now, given that the function is equal to x power of n, so the integration of the said function will be like this. Here, we can see that the power of x is increased by 1 and the function is divided by its new power. Now, let's say that we want to find a measurement of area within a certain limit. For that, we will have to use definite integration. The definite integral is defined to be exactly the limit and summation to find the net area between function and x exists. If we want to find an area under a function within range a to b, the notation will be like so. In mathematics, engineering, and manufacturing, a solid of revolution is a solid figure obtained by rotating a plane curve around some straight line, or axis that lies on the same plane. The volume of the said solid can be determined using an integration. Now that we have refreshed our memories on basic integration, let's move on to solving a problem. Here, we have a barrel that has a radius of 30 cm at the top and 40 cm radius at the middle. So what is the volume of the barrel assuming that the shape of its side is parabolic? We will lay the barrel on its side and put it on an x and y axis to make the algebra easier. Then, we need to find the equation of the parabola with the vertex at the coordinate of 50 and 40 passing through a point with coordinate of 0 and 30. From the graph, the coordinate of the vertex will yield this equation and the coordinate of a point on the parabola will give us the information that we need to find the gradient. Once we have the gradient, we can come out with the function for the parabola. Vertex coordinate is needed to find the gradient of a parabola. Here, the coordinate is 50 and 40. The equation is also substituted by a coordinate of any point on the parabola as x and y. After that, the gradient is substituted into the parabola equation and transposed into y in term of x. We 
we need to find the volume of the barrel which is generated when we rotated the axis between x equal to 0 and x equal to 100 around the x-axis. Solve the problem using definite integration. In the end, we found out that the barrel has a volume around of 425,000 cm3 or 425.2 liters. As you can see, integration has wide application in real life. Hopefully, this video will help you to understand a little bit more about the volume of revolution. We'll see you guys next time with another chapter of Math Madness. Goodbye! Bye.